The rise of e-commerce has made order fulfillment an inseparable part of sales. And it means that shipping carriers now play an essential role in your customers' shopping satisfaction. They are now an integral part of purchase and have a direct impact on how good an online customer's buying experience is. So, it is important to choose a reliable shipping carrier to help you deliver your promises to your clients. If UPS is your choice and if you send out a lot of shipments every day, then you don't need the hassle of duplicating data between your order management system and UPS. And there's also some room for human error and miscommunication during data entry. But what if you could simplify the process and manage your shipments from a single app? You can. I'll show you how you can integrate an order management system and a shipping carrier, specifically Zoho Inventory and UPS. Now there are three things you need in order to do this. You need a UPS account, a Zoho Inventory organization and a computer with internet access. To begin this integration, open your Zoho Inventory and navigate to Shipping Carriers under Integrations via the sidebar. Click on the Setup Now button below the UPS logo to access a setup screen. Enter your UPS account number. As for UPS invoice details are these four fields between the UPS account number and address, they are only necessary if you have any delivery services invoices within the last 90 days. And if you do have any such invoices, pick one of the last three invoices and record its information here. Enter your address and hit save and continue button to finish the integration setup. Now that we have seen how to connect your UPS account with Zoho Inventory, let's see how it works by having some products shipped. For this demonstration, I am going to be using a Sandbox UPS account to generate a sample shipping label. Ok, so I am inside one of our test organizations and I have a ready-made sales order right here. As you can see from the package entry here, all the items have already been packed and are ready to ship. Now I am going to ship the items by clicking the create button, selecting the shipments option and then selecting ship via carrier option to initiate the shipping sequence. Now there are three steps involved in creating a UPS shipment label. Step 1 validating addresses. The built-in address verification system will verify whether the addresses of the customer as well as your organization are real places. And this process will determine the shipping options available to you in step 2. Please note that this system currently works only for locations within the US. And if there are any mistakes in the addresses, you will have to correct them before you can proceed to the next stage. Step 2. Configuring the shipment This is the place where you specify what's in the shipment and how you have packed it. It includes details like when do you want to ship it, what are the package dimensions, what is its weight and so on. After that, the shipment will show you various shipment options along with their rates from UPS. Choose the one that suits your needs or your customer's needs and hit the create shipment button. Step 3. Generate the label. Here you will find the shipping label being generated for you based on your preferences. 
you have a choice to either have the system send a notification email to your customers automatically or manually send one out yourself. UPS will automatically keep track of the shipments you make through them and update their statuses in Zoho inventory. Now there are a few things you must remember while creating a shipment with UPS. For starters, Zoho inventory supports UPS only within the US. So please make sure that both the from and to address are in the USA. Number two, your shipments will be charged through your UPS account and not through Zoho inventory. You may be surprised if you open your UPS shipping account directly and don't find any record of shipments you have made. But don't worry, the shipments made using Zoho inventory are safely stored in a sub account within your UPS account. That sub account is automatically created as soon as you integrate it with Zoho inventory as a measure to keep your integration functioning no matter what changes you make to your UPS account. Also, the UPS integration with Zoho inventory is a direct integration unlike UPS mail innovations which is also available within Zoho inventory. UPS mail innovations is not linked to the direct integration and it's made possible through easy post. When the UPS driver is picking up your packages, if they ask for an end of the day barcode, point out the bow tie image that is printed in the lower right corner of the shipping label. There is no limit on the number of shipments a driver will take without a barcode. If the parcels are properly labeled, the driver is required to take them. Last but not the least, if you want to ship a sales order that contains items from different warehouses, make sure that you record individual packages for individual warehouses and ship them separately. If you don't do this, then the goods can only be picked from one location since step one allows you to enter only one from address. Keep these tips in mind and try integrating your UPS with Zoho inventory. If you have any questions or need help, you can reach us at any time during weekdays at support at the rate zoho-inventory.com. Thank you.